Well, what should I do now? I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer, but I don't know what to do. Not like there's anything for me to do at home anyway. Oh, I got it. I'll go up to the roof or something. I'm, I'm gonna be behind the school building. You know, just because. Most of the girls are already gone. Hey, man, all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy us some themselves? Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Juness. The important thing is that I have any at all. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Uh, Yukiko, why don't you hand yours out first? N no, you first, Chie. I, I can't. Not here. Wait, why? <gasps> Is it? You know, I, I like candy. Kanji, take the hint. We're both out of the picture now. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chie-senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? Because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Wow. Putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. Hey, what about him? I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. Does that mean... Oh. I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. So, see you later. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye! Oh, hey, Naoto-kun. What's up? Oh, well... Didn't you say that you're not the kind of person who gives chocolate to just anybody? Sorry, that was a little mean. But I'm serious too, and I'm not gonna lose. Senpai? <clears throat> Senpai, I have to talk to you later, so I'll see you then. What was all that? Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Okay. If you can't find yours, come see me later. That's it. Dismissed. Any questions? Come on, what are you doing? You've got to make a decision right now. Uh, uh, uh me, me too. I I've got candy for everybody but you, so uh, I'll see you later. What the hell, man? What kind of crazy voodoo are you doing to be such a chick magnet? How can one guy be so popular with the ladies? What? Senpai's popular? Whoa, that's impressive. What's impressive is how clueless you are.
sorry for being such a spaz just now in front of everybody. Here, this is yours. It's a, a little different from everyone else's. You, um, do, do you have something else to do today? I'm not doing anything, so, uh, maybe I'll go with you. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't ask anything. About today, or if you have someone else. I believe in you. But it's still a little sad. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm asking too much. <sighs> I'll call you later. Come out like that, but I couldn't go back. Um, this is for you. It's a bit large. Actually, I was thinking that we could go somewhere together after this and share it, just the two of us. But that's just me. I'm kidding myself. Ugh. Where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's Day. <sighs> I... I am your girlfriend, right? Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just get worried sometimes. I'm crazy, aren't I? It's not that I don't have any trust in you. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. It's strange. I was thinking that maybe you wouldn't even come. Here, this is yours. It's special, just for you. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? was mean. I didn't want to say that. But you're the one who's making me turn so mean. I'm your girlfriend, and I can't even go on a date with you on Valentine's Day. I guess that if whatever it is is a big deal to you, I can't complain. But I'm not just gonna take it lying down. This isn't fun and games. I'm serious about you. I hate this. I always feel like a mess when it comes to dealing with you. Sorry, I don't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, uh, I'm 
sorry. I don't know what I want to say to you myself. You're going to see someone else today, aren't you? That's not a good answer. But never mind. I don't want to know the real answer. Well, this is a first. There is a mystery, and I know the answer. Yet, I want to look away from it. When I try to logically analyze the situation, another part of me tries to stop it. It tells me, you'll only get hurt. And now, I'm following that voice. I'm a failure for someone who claims to be after the truth. Yosuke, why do you look so hopeful? Hopeful? What are you talking about? Excuse me. Yes! Where's a trash can? The, uh, the trash can. Give it up, Yosuke. It's over. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. You'll see. Shut up! Don't you... you'll see me! You don't understand the true strength of a man's heart. I know I don't have anything waiting for me, but I can't give up my hope. It's my only weapon against the Valentine's monster! Oh, I'm pathetic. Hey, that's so rude! I know you got chocolate from Shie-chan and some other girls. I know that! And it was 100% friend zone chocolate. And you ate it all anyway. It was so good. That was bargain price chocolate from Juness. I put the sales stickers on them myself, I know. Hey, since you ate all my chocolate, when White Day rolls around, it's your responsibility to make it up to me. Oh, don't you worry. All the ladies will get Teddy's love. Ah, uh, don't say stuff like that. Yukiko will sew your mouth shut. Oh, never mind then. I'll give them my winning Topsicle Sticks. They're a Teddy Family Bear Loom. Oh, God, dude! Don't give girls something that you've licked all over! Anyway, what are you doing here? Don't you have a bunch of dates? Huh? To rejoice in male friendship, or to be angry that you're not as desperate as us, that is the question. Hey, Yosuke! Your younger brother, Kanji-kun, is acting weirder than normal. What? Why are you calling him my brother all of a sudden? Your brother's in nobody's arms. Family that's lonely together is bronely together. D -d Shut up! Don't call us that! Don't even mention it again! Anyway, you have been quiet this whole time. What's going on with you, man? Are you disappointed that Naoto... No, I wasn't expecting anything from her, and I don't think of her like that anyway. Stop acting so tough. Then what is it? Well, uh... Senpai, I want you to have this! Wow, so now it's time for guys to give chocolate to each other? That's not the person you're supposed to give that to. Wait, unless... No, it's not like that, I... I owe Senpai so much, and I've never been able to pay him back. But he's gonna go away soon. So I thought I'd do this at the very least. Yeah, that's right. This is a present from Kanji and me. It'd mean a lot to us if you take it. Hey, what now? <laughs> you found me out. It's a present from me to you. Surprise! 
It's a cuddly, waddly, choco teddy hug pillow. Hold on to it on those lonely nights for sweet, ridiculous dreams. Hey, don't jump on my bandwagon. Besides, if you hold on to it, it's gonna melt. Wait, you have non-chocolate teddy hug pillows? I want one! You're late. I don't get it. What, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> you really are an oddball. I have chocolate. You can have it. doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Sorry. Huh? It's okay? It's fine? Huh. What do you mean, incredible? You can eat it. If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. Are you stupid? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? I looked it up. I thought it was some big event, you know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. It's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I'm telling the truth! Look, just close your eyes. Shut up and close them! Thank you. Well, I don't really get it, but it looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much.
Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, it's been tough for you, but you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's why I said thank you back. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me. And that's why I can be happy again. <laughs> really? And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. That's why I made one for you. Chie said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh, and bacon, since everyone likes bacon. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. Risei Chan said that the chocolate should assert itself, so it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. You're a grown up, Big Bro, so I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste, so I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive, so I added vinegar and ponzu sauce, too. Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. And when I told her I was already done, she told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. Um, Big Bro, thank you. I love you. Ridiculous! How do you mean? Wow. 
Why? What are you trying to do? Hey. came all this way for you. Take it. Take my chocolate, please. Before I crush it. <laughs> this was for you. <laughs> Here is your chocolate. There's no need to be modest. Just take the chocolate. You can eat this, right? It's chocolate. Here. Take your chocolate. Here. It's chocolate, got it? What? <sighs> that is unforgivable! <sighs> it's terrible. Forget it. Huh? Messing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. Jeez. <sighs> Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. Oh, uh, sorry. Did I say something wrong? Um, <laughs> I'm sure you have nothing to worry about in that department. How about we stop right there, lady? For his sake. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Weren't girls supposed to give chocolate to the guys they like yesterday? Hey, 
are you going to be okay? My gentlemanly nature is making me worry about you. Hey, what did you do? Outside the store, is that... Whoa. I saw the light on in here last night. Did you think you'd just try and trick this romantically impaired fool? I was worried about you, so I came to check on you yesterday. You could have just said you were busy, even if you had to lie about what you were doing. So you already have a favorite? I came to say hello yesterday, but when I looked in the window, you were with someone else. You dick! Yesterday? Who were you with? <sighs> I got worried yesterday, so I read my own fortune. It said that you're seeing someone else. You seem to be doing well. Did my little guinea pig forget to turn off his lights last night? You're such a problem, child. I left work early yesterday to see how you were, and I saw you with someone else. What the heck am I doing? I got quite the scoop yesterday. A boyfriend caught cheating. I'm not very happy about it, though. You were here with someone else yesterday, weren't you? Are you cheating on me? Please tell me it's not true. I don't want to suspect you of anything, Senpai. But if something's going on, I want to know. Take it. Take my chocolate, please. Before I crush it. And here I came all this way for you. This was for you. Here, take your chocolate. There's no need to be modest. Just take the chocolate. You can eat this, right? It's chocolate. Here. It's chocolate, got it? Here's your chocolate. Can you eat this chocolate for me? Hey kid, say something. Are you making a fool of me? Enough of this irresponsible behavior! You're the scum of the earth! I'm disappointed. Are you being serious? You'll pay for this! Stop messing around! So not funny. This is absolutely terrible. You're terrible, Senpai. Oh, uh, I was just about to go shopping. <laughs> Take your time. Oh, see you later. If you survive. Cheer up. Here, have this. What a pain, though. I had to come up with this whole web of lies for you. I was having him help out at the store. I didn't realize it was Valentine's Day. Don't worry, he always talks about you. You're his one and only. That was enough to get you off the hook for now. But make sure your story matches mine. Got it? Um, Senpai, I'm glad we get to spend White Day together, but Valentine's Day wasn't exactly romantic. <sighs> well, I guess I can forgive you, since you gave me a real apology, but no more second chances. An athlete has to have their honor. Hey, can I ask you something? Is this supposed to be a date for White Day? I see how it is. Well, I guess this works as an apology. Thank you. So, is this what I think it is? Well, it's not gonna make up for what happened. Not totally, anyway. But you're here with me now, so I forgive you. suppose this is intended as a date for White Day? Hmm. 
This doesn't have to be some kind of penance for you, you know? And you asked me out today, so... The past is past. <clears throat> hey. You asked me out because it's White Day, right? On Valentine's Day? Well... I didn't know what to think, but... It does make me happy to see you putting in the effort. Thank you. Um, by the way, did you invite me out today because it's White Day? Good. It's a sensible first step towards getting your good karma back. I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. Please, forget you heard anything. Uh, right. More importantly, today is White Day, isn't it? Would it be safe to assume the timing of our date was no accident? I see. In that case, I suppose this is all part of some grand apology. But my forgiveness is not so cheaply bought. <laughs> Only a joke. I'm glad your heart's in the right place. So, how long are we gonna dance around this? Is this meant to be an apology? Well, since my guinea pig's being sincere for once, I accept. By the way, this is definitely a date for White Day, right? I get it. So this is an apology for your little scandal. Okay, I guess I can forgive you. Hey, just wondering, but is this meant to be an apology? For Valentine's Day, I mean. At least you feel sorry about everything. Maybe you're a good kid after all. チョコ。チョコ。チョコ。欲しい。お前。なあ。お袋のチョコって数に入れていいと思う？